Yep, I'm standing and it's a one taker. Wow, another one. Whoa, oh my gosh. That game sucked. That game just sucked. That's it, that's the video. Thank you everybody for coming out. I'm just kidding. I'm actually gonna talk about it. For some reason, I'm gonna talk about it. What happened? The Astros. Take the lead in the first inning. Get the bases loaded with one out. No reason you shouldn't score a few runs there, eh? Yeah, they score one. Ground out by Correa. Altuve comes around to score. Neat. Later on, Altuve hits a home run. Makes it 2 nothing. Jose Altuve, 23rd of his postseason career. Now second alone all time. Postseason home runs. That's a neat thing. That's cool. What happens after that? That's just fall apart. The offense didn't show up. Altuve showed up, and that was it. Altuve accounted for both runs tonight, and one of the RBIs. He's the only one that showed up. I don't need statistics. I don't care about him anyway. I believe you were 0 for 7 with runners in scoring position tonight. I'd have been 0 for 9. I believe 7 men left on base, something around there. It, you've now left over 25 men on base in four World Series games. You're not going to win like that. You're not going to win anything. You're not going to win regular season games, leaving that many men on base. You're not going to do that in the World Series, certainly. Pitching was great again tonight. Weston, what are you talking about? Javier was... Shut up! No! No! None of that! Three runs against them. That's it. Three runs. That's great. Like our our pitching staff has been so great the the entire postseason. The pitching staff's been pretty darn good since ever since the Grand Slam games. Pitching staff's been great. Bullpen even during that was great. Bullpen's been so good. Bullpen night for the Astros tonight. They were great. Granky hasn't been stretched out in a while. Four shutout innings. He even had a hit tonight. He was magnificent. The rest of it. I'll, 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 I guess I'll get something, you know. I, I guess I'll pull up something so I can tell you at least who pitched. So I can give my praise out. I suppose I should do something along those lines. You know. Yeah, pitching tonight. Stenic. Great inning of work. He was fantastic. Rayleigh. Didn't look great. His run would uh, be scored. Maton looked okay, I guess. He had a pair of strikeouts. I don't know what to tell you. Javier got the loss tonight. One third of an inning. Uh, gave up a pair of home runs. I don't care. Not good enough by the Astros offense. It's not good enough. Two runs is not good enough. Two runs isn't going to win you that many World Series games. It's not. Two runs is going to win you nothing. Nothing. It's going to win you nothing. Zero runs last night. You're averaging a run a game over the past two games in Atlanta. You're doing nothing. Your bullpen is the only reason. Your, your pitching staff, your bullpen, they're the only reason you are even sniffing games right now to be near victory. I'm walking. I'm, I'm. They're the only reason. And last night, apparently, because right after last night's game, everyone was talking, you know, everyone was talking about, like, the, oh, the speech of Maldonado and Odorizzi. They gave a speech, you know, they gave one after the Red Sox Grand Slam, the second Grand Slam game. Oh, they're just raring up right now to give another one. And apparently last night they didn't because the offense understood it was a must-win game. Wow. They understood, eh? Didn't see that tonight. I have the, I have the numbers pulled up now, so I might as well... Just to confirm it, yep. 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position. 11 men left on. Oh, my bad. That means 30 left on through four World Series games. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you. The Astros looked flat again offensively. The offense is not doing anything. They are not there when you need them. The pitching staff is doing well. 
this entire postseason, I've complained about the Correa thing, right? The Correa contract has been this big di- dispute of what do you do with Correa? And I've been saying, guys, you got to let Correa walk. You know, look at the pitching. Look at the pitching. What do you need right now? You need a starter or maybe two. You need a reliever or maybe two. You got to bring back Kendall Graveman. You need pitching. You take that bat out of the lineup. What does it change? And now the pitching's been elite. The pitching has been magnificent. Pitching's been great in this World Series. They had one bad World Series pitching game for the Astros. Gave up six runs in game one. And even for a World Series game, that ain't that bad. Two runs given up. Two runs given up. Three runs given up. Those are winnable games. The Astros, there is no reason with those pitching performances, there is no reason they shouldn't be up 3-1 right now for the Astros. There's no reason. There isn't one. There's no excuses. I don't care about anything. I, I don't care. Not good enough. You, it's not good enough. Two runs. 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position. 11 men left on is not good enough. That's not going to win you much. And I'm just wasting your time at this point repeating that. I don't know what else to say. This was another horrific night. Tomorrow's a must-win game. I don't care what you change tomorrow. I don't care who you start. I don't care what the pitching procedure is. I don't care who you have bat where. I don't care who you take out of the lineup. But you got to change something. I don't care if you put all the names into a fishbowl, shake it up, and then draw names. Or if you throw darts at a board. Or if you... I don't care. Ping pong balls. Do a lottery. I don't care. But you got to shake it up your end of tomorrow. You can't trot out the same offensive scheme that you've done for all these games to this point. You can't do that because it's not going to work. Change it up. I don't care how. You got to change. And you know what? I, I, I can't explain why. I can't explain why other than this is just how the Astros like to do it. I will bet. I, I, we're going to win. <laughs> we're going to win tomorrow. We're somehow, even though it makes no sense, we're going to win the World Series still. I, I genuinely, because the Astros are insane, because this is just how they like to do stuff, I still think we're going to win the World Series. Even now. Down 3-1. After two embarrassing losses, I still think we're going to win the World Series. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I am blindly optimistic. That's possible. <sighs> but I still think we are. Tomorrow's a must-win game. You're going to have Faramber on the mound. Show me anything. Show any bit of life, Houston. Ball's in your court, and it has to be. All postseason, whenever the Astros have won a game, they have posted on Instagram. Two simple words. Winners win. All right. Self-proclaimed winners. You're in the corner. You've been backed into it. You're winners? You're winners. Okay. Go win. <laughs>